So if you've purchased the assembled version of Oshmi, it should look something like this. You'll have main board. You'll have your SD connector with two of the same connectors on each end. And you'll have your LCD rotary encoder connector. One connector there, one 10 pin connector. And you'll also have this to solder into ramps so that you can connect in your SD card cable. What you would do, um, I have my ramps all assembled and in a box so it's a nightmare to take apart so I'm just going to show you with this diagram. So you'd take your connector with the index on this side and you would solder it right there to those four pins. So that would be there and then you would take your Oshmi and plug in your SD connector, SD wiring harness I guess. Plug that end in there and then you would plug the other end right into there, into that connector you soldered there. And then you'll take your LCD wiring harness, plug that one in there and then so you should have an index marker or something this this wire should be red or if you've got, you should have a corresponding red mark or something on the wiring there that indicates which pin will connect up on the top right here to digital pin 16 on the Arduino so then you would just plug that in right into this connector there will be a couple extra pins down here but just top right there and then you're good to go just hit define Ultimaker controller in your Marlin firmware and then you should be good to go. You'll probably have to adjust this contrast up a bit so you can see things but other than that you're good to go. You will have an SD card connector on there I just don't have any in stock right now so there you go. Turn on your power to your ramps and it might look like that absolutely nothing. You've got one of two problems either you didn't define Ultimaker controller in your Marlin firmware or you need to turn up your contrast knob and there we go ready to rock and roll